Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about something really awesome, which is the Persist plugin in Alpine. So in order to demonstrate what the Persist plugin does, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually grab some of the files that I have here, or some of the code that I have here and just paste it here. So obviously the code that we previously, uh, that we're seeing on this screen, let me just go ahead and save it, is the code for, let's just go ahead and actually add account variable here as well since that's being used so i'm going to say the count is going to be zero by default <clears throat> and let me just go ahead and do some minor stylistic tweaks so we can separate these two things out i'm going to go ahead i'm going to grab these in divs and i'm going to wrap this whole thing in a div and say grid and then grid minus calls minus two so now that we have this as you can see we have this dark mode which we implemented in the last video i can again toggle it this thing is actually being handled by the globe by the store by the global store or just the store for now i guess so you can turn it on and off and as you can see that is being preserved one other thing i can actually do is i can say x minus text and then get store dot dark mode dot on so now that i have that as you can see let's just go ahead and actually have i have some styles item minus center justify minus center text minus white this isn't really related to again the alpine stuff but it's related to just again some visual stuff so as you can see this is true i can go ahead and increment this and that all works fine but if as soon as i refresh this all of that state which was previously the dark moon was true and this increment was more than zero is lost because this is again just on the fly it's not really being preserved in anywhere so how do we go ahead and do that well that's exactly why you use the persist plugin in alpine and it's really really easy so in order to go ahead and enable the persist plugin you just need to go ahead first of all i'm just going to add some comments here i'm going to say this is our alpine core library and you just need to go to the <clears throat> persist plugin documentation on alpine and you just need to grab this url so this is the url for the alpine persist plugin let me let me just go ahead and add that <clears throat> and obviously nothing right now is being persisted i can do this and i refresh it it's being lost but in order to go ahead and apply it it's extremely simple how do you go ahead and apply it anywhere where you're defining the value you just go ahead and add a dollar sign and then persist that's all it takes that is all i've persisted this uh, value here if i let's say go ahead and increment it and refresh it as you can see i have i'm refreshing it multiple times but it's not changing and why the reason for that is if I go to my application, as you can see, that particular x underscore count value is being stored now in my local storage. So obviously the local storage does not get affected every time you refresh your page. So that's where this particular value is coming from. So that's how you go about, let's say, basically just start using the persist plugin if you're doing something simple and just applying it on the x minus data properties. However, if you have to do it on the store the syntax is slightly different so obviously we know that we need to go ahead and wrap this thing in the persist and this thing but if i let's say do that as you can see i'm going to get a bunch of console errors first of all it's going to tell me that it cannot read the property of on or whatever it is so the reason for that is we actually need to define it like this we need to say alpine dot persist so once we do that, it's actually gonna detect, okay, so we're saying that the Alpine, the persist variable exists on the Alpine uh, like variable that's defined globally, and then it's gonna work. But right now it says alpine.persist is not a function. So we're still running into an issue. And the reason for that is that we're initiating this particular thing, this code of the store, once Alpine initializes. However, if we go back to our JavaScript, we're saying defer, we added a defer here. Defer basically means that this script is not gonna run until the page, just to simplify it, is not loaded. So what happens is this particular thing runs first, it obviously does not find the alpine.persist, and then it throws an error, and then this thing loads. So that's a problem. In order to fix that, obviously we can just go ahead and remove the defer from here, or we can go ahead and include this thing in a separate file, and call that separate file, and also add a defer, on it and include it below the plugin, right? That can also work. But just to simplify it and just to show you how to go ahead and apply the persist on this on the state, on the store, you can go ahead and remove the defer. If I just remove it, as you can see, this works fine. And as you can see, we have the X minus on property, which is the dark mode on, 
it's also being false. If I go ahead and change it, as you can see, it's true now. If I refresh it, this state is now also being preserved. So that's really, really cool. One thing, however, that's not really as ideal as we would want it to be is the fact that this particular value, this on value, is just being stored as an on. If I, let's say, art add dark mode here, as you can see, it's now being stored as dark mode. But if, for example, for some reason, you wanna keep this simplified, you wanna say this should be on, but I wanna store this value still slightly differently. So you can do that quite easily by saying, I wanna store this whole value, this particular thing as, and then you can go here and define what you wanna store it as. So I can say I wanna store it as dark mode or something, whatever it is. Now, as you can see, it's being stored as dark mode and even the X underscore X is removed. So if I, let's just go ahead and clear it, as you can see, we have the zero here. I can go ahead and increment it. I have the dark mode here. I can change it. And as you can see, the values in the local storage are being updated. So that's again, a pretty quick video. The persist plugin is just so simple to use and state preservation or the global store preservation is just so easy that you, if you're working on Alpine projects, I would really recommend it, especially if you were, let's say, working with multiple files or slightly complex, uh, management store management state management whatever so that's going to be pretty much it for this video do subscribe do hit the bell icon and if there's any ambiguities left in this particular persist plugin or anything along those lines definitely let me know but i'll see you in the next video take care bye